Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences online satsang. This satsang is an opportunity for everybody to meet and discuss the spiritual topics, especially from the path of knowledge on this topic. Those who are in the program can clear their doubts regarding the contents of the program and those who are new, they can ask for guidance. I'll try to help them to advance on the path of knowledge and if anybody has any questions, most welcome to ask them. Paramjeet has a question, although I got the answer already. All experiences are illusory and are always one. Then why I or we are trying to get some different kind of experiences which may be in other states? That is a matter of personal preference. This activity is happening in the dream and the dream can go in any way. So when you say when I or we, that means the mind. That means this creature and it cannot remain without doing anything. Doing its is its nature. But you are absolutely still. You are not the doer and you are not trying and there is no desire in you. So everything is exactly as it should be. That which is silent is silent. That which is active is active. That which is active is trying to get this experience or that experience. It should not matter. All experiences are same, illusory. And that which is trying to get the experiences, is desiring the experiences of different kinds, is also illusory. And this is how it has been all the time. Nothing has changed really. When there was ignorance, the mind was entangled in the experiences. It wanted this, it wanted that. When there is knowledge, still same thing is going on. But now the difference is that there is the knowledge that it is not me. Now everything is okay. This is the desire of the person, not of me. And it can desire anything it wants. The desire to not take any kind of experience or to continue in one boring experience forever is also a desire. That is also a choice. So in the dream, the decision is not made from the truth. The decision is made from the false. All decisions are ultimately false and illusory, so it does not really matter. In the truth, no decision is made because there is no activity there. It is a matter of mixing the true and the false. The true never makes any decisions, never runs after this or that. And the false cannot stop making decisions, cannot stop choosing and is always found to prefer this or that. The knowledge makes only one difference that now everything is happening in bliss. Now the right action is happening and if that action is providing any kind of happiness to this creature then it will go for it. If it is an experience of unusual kind then also it is a play because look at your current experience it is also of unusual kind. There is nothing normal in this experience. The ignorance is that my presence as a human is perfectly normal and then I need something else which is paranormal. This is the ignorance. Fully knowing that this is also an illusion, this is also a strange experience of being a human and then desiring some other experience, perfectly normal. Where is the ignorance? Thinking that I am choosing, I am running after experiences and I have an attachment to different kind of experiences than the worldly experience. And that should not happen. This all thought is ignorance. Vandita is saying kindly brief little about this in your own language. I heard it for a few minutes only and it is some kind of conspiracy like talk. It is some kind of spiced up personal story of that man. And I don't think all of it is true. But I saw that he has a lot of knowledge. He is was speaking about um, the non-duality. He was talking about his own nature and he was talking about why to why we should stop the reincarnation. These basic statements were all true. They are all true. But uh, whatever stories he told about that, we don't know. We don't know about that if they are true or not. He told a story about his experience when he died. That can be true. That is possible. But then we then he went into some kind of spe speculation that there are beings that are causing us to remain trapped in the human and they feed on our energy and so on. I think that is uh, made up. That is his 
personal opinion there is no truth in that so i shared this topic because it is coming from a totally different point of view it is coming from what you call the new age or cheap spirituality <laughs> it is not based on any tradition not based on any scripture not based on any guru he has his own personal experience only to say but even then he could manage very good uh, conclusions about his experiences there is no death yes it is true my nature is awareness that is also true although he does not have the terminology to say it reincarnation is suffering that is also true and he could touch upon non duality a little bit everything is one this and that but if you check the contents of that channel it is all full of all kind of conspiracy theory <laughs> and that channel is more for entertainment less for knowledge so those who are interested in killing their time in an entertaining way this is a good interview there are some more good interviews there but mostly they have unusual amount of spice spiced up to make more views graham is asking can some physical desires to be resolved by energy practices for example could sexual desire be resolved by bringing male and female energies in one body mind together properly i have no idea about the energy practices so and i totally have no idea about how to bring male and female energies in one body <laughs> on the path of knowledge what do we say that uh, desires will get fulfilled if they are absolutely necessary they will be fulfilled automatically and uh, that includes any kind of desire if the right time has arrived it will fulfill itself that is the most natural way and then manipulating some kind of energy or something i have no idea about it this sounds more like occult practices than the energy practices because the energetic path like the kundalini and all they are not focused on desire fulfillment only the occult or tantra is focused on desire fulfillment and there the cause of desire fulfillment is not energy intention so hopefully that is a satisfactory answer although it is totally off topic for me vandita has a question direct experiences can be interpreted differently according to filters one believes in how can one differentiate a subjective direct experience from an objective direct experience so as everybody knows there is no objective direct experience all experiences are your own roughly we can say like this that i don't know what you are experiencing you don't know what i am experiencing although the experiencer is one the knowledge about what is happening are separate so if there is a good amount of overlap if one interpretation agrees more than 50% with another interpretation then we say that we have a consensus in the experience is it means your experience matches with my experience your subjective experience is mostly like my subjective experience and now you can project it outside that the outside world is like this which we both are seeing and then the illusion of objective world appears if there is no consensus or the consensus is very less then there is no agreement and there is no direct experience which is objective it is always subjective but because there is some agreement between the experiences because they are coming from the same kind of senses there is a base reality which is formed by comparing the basic experience but as we go deeper into the interpretations then it becomes totally subjective for example you start playing a song everybody will agree that there are sounds and everybody will agree that it is a male sound or a female sound female voice that much interpretation is overlapping because ears are mostly constructed in a similar way for humans but as soon as you say that uh, it is a good song melodious song then the agreement may start breaking because maybe the other person does not like that song there there the interpretation will be different he will say no this is not a good song it is not melodious at all it is not matching my mood i do not like this because some other comparisons are being made in the memory 
which are not present in the first memory so the consensus breaks now you can say that there are sounds but you cannot say that they are melodious sounds but let us say instead of taking the human as other person you take a dog now the dog will, will not experience it as music he will interpret it completely differently but there will be little bit of agreement that he is hearing something you are hearing something but now there is no agreement about that if you now compare your experience with the experience of an ant the ant is experiencing the sound probably as vibrations of the ground because the ant is mostly on the ground so the whole body of the ant is picking up these beats of the music it is like an earthquake or somebody is walking and the ant will run away probably thinking that some big creature is coming there is no agreement at all now the experiences are totally subjective this is seen very clearly when you speak some other language which the person you are with does not understand if somebody says a joke in chinese nobody will laugh if they do not understand it so was that a joke was that funny we do not know those who understand that language they will start laughing so all experiences are basically subjective and there is a overlap due to similar structures of the layers the more difference there is between the structures memory senses the less objective it becomes so what is the conclusion of this analysis all experience is mind created there is nothing which is out there there are no objects there is only subject which is you whatever is seen is again you being filtered by senses and by whatever we call impressions sanskar and also by knowledge like i gave the example of chinese joke your knowledge of chinese will not enable you to grasp it your ignorance of chinese so whatever impressions are there in this structure they will determine the final experience so all experience is actually illusory and subjective and it is me looking at myself in various ways different ways so if you want to make a pie chart of subjective and objective you will see that 90% of experience is subjective the overlap is very little and the overlap becomes even less as we go towards higher layers so maybe you are in the same wo- world that everybody is there in but still you will experience totally different things and the other people there will experience completely different things you will see your father mother dead relatives and so on and the others will see probably monsters will hear voices or or will see lights sounds colors why is that because the higher layers probably are completely different in different people as we go towards the physical mostly the experiences start merging into objectivity because they are now shared and that is why we call the objective world or this physical world shared reality shared experience because this dream is being shared among individuals otherwise there are infinite possibilities that will be, that will appear in infinite varieties fortunately there is a possibility that the patterns will make copies of themselves and when the experience is filtered when the vibration is filtered through these patterns the creatures will experience something similar that produces a stable world just like our world here earth is a stable world there is an agreement so it is more meaningful this kind of shared experience is very rare it is very rare although there is a possibility but the possibilities of having different experiences are more than the possibility of having a shared experience like if you throw two stones what is the probability that one stone will fall on another stone and they will stack up very little but the probability that they will scatter here and there is infinite so how fortunate we are that we are living in a shared reality you cannot call it a reality shared hallucination shared dream this can be treated as a major power like an occult power super power so this human birth is a matter of luck you must be really really lucky this structure must be so lucky that 
it found it now many things are possible now life is possible now knowledge is possible now meaningful experience is possible mandita is asking sometimes sharing can also be imposed like in movie show experience you can try to convince people that this experience is like this but uh, it is very difficult to convince everybody about it even in a movie most of the people will not agree on everything some will say the movie was good some some will say the movie was bad some will say no this part was good that part was bad some will say this song was good that song was bad so even in the movie they will have different interpretations but what they will agree on is the base basic things the senses saw moving pictures the ears heard some sounds that much can be agreed what is happening in the society is that people are being brainwashed to agree on things so that they can fit into the society remember that if you do not agree with the society you will be thrown out so look at the society everybody is wearing the same clothes there are countries where every man wears only black or blue jackets and every woman has red or pink or something like this white no other colors you can check the tv shows the movies their news why everybody needs to wear only one color they are trying to conform to each other that look i am like you as soon as something changes the agreement is broken and now they feel afraid so why everybody is singing prayers in the temples even if they don't like it they want to mix they want to mingle with everybody else as soon as you are born your training starts you need to be like everybody else even if a slight difference is seen people are worried and look at the seeker he is totally different and that is why the worldly people will call you crazy because you don't want to mix so those who are in the society they are bound they need to remain same they need, all need to have same skin color same hair style same clothes <laughs> same language nothing should be different same food also same drinks also they should watch the same tv show and they should support the same politician otherwise what happens chaos that will be called a very artificial society and that is how the most modern societies are they are all based on a forced perspective there is very less freedom and when you compare other countries with with india india has the most freedom you will see everybody can dress in whatever way they want everybody can speak any language they want they can eat anything they want they can have any kind of politics any kind of religion and uh, spiritual path i have never seen this much freedom in any other country even these tribal people they are not so free and that is why when somebody a foreigner arrives in india he sees only chaos there are no rules here and that is the disadvantage of so much freedom okay we can go on like this but i give it to you as a homework everybody should see that how forcing the objective experience or materialism denies us our freedom to experience anything gram is asking why is ending the cycle of birth and death a goal it's impossible since everything has already happened isn't it but even from a relative perspective in time if it did not stop wouldn't it start again automatically no that is not the goal on the path of knowledge because here the knowledge says that i was never born and i'll never die my essence is birthless and deathless so the question itself is assuming that it is a goal that is not the goal the goal is destruction of your ignorance has it happened yes then the goal is achieved now can we stop the cycle of birth and death then the question is whose birth and death because there is nobody there is no person here the person is an illusion so who is birth and death so if you stop it will it start again how can you stop that which is not there and who is there to stop it if there is no agency if there is no person and that is why having this goal is meaningless simply no there is no birth and no death what do we need to stop stop believing in that which is not true in whatever is happening because it simply appears to happen that is okay if there are attempts to stop it perfectly okay <laughs> people are free to do whatever they want to do if you assume that i i am born 
then it will be possible to stop it because then the assumption will turn into now i am not born but both are equally false they are different kinds of dream in one dream you are saying look i took a birth here and there in another dream you are saying finally i am free from birth but can the dream stop the dream will never stop the dream is not in time it is timeless the dream appears with complete timeline with complete history including death and birth and everything <laughs> rebirth so on that is how the dream appears with time so some different kind of assumptions can be taken in the dream and the dream modifies itself but it will remain the dream nobody is born nobody dies nobody can stop anything nobody can start anything simply the possibilities are appearing disappearing it's never ending game so on the path of knowledge our goal is to realize this much all is whole and complete and that is me and here we should stop <laughs> then there should not be any questions after this there should not be any more assumptions after this some people will say look i achieved the knowledge now i am the whole i am the existence now let me stop the birth and death but you can see there is still ignorance because knowing that i am the existence the question of birth and death should not should not arise now and the thought of stopping it should not arise so as the knowledge becomes stable all these thinking stops and that is all will stop why is there no practice on the path of knowledge why there are no more goals because if you think deeply you will see nothing needs to be done nothing needs to be achieved nothing needs to happen nothing extra is needed that is the conclusion of the knowledge and if there is still something that needs to be achieved there are more goals now that means there is no knowledge probably these things were heard that look i am the existence i am the experiencer there is one experiencer and so on but uh, that seeker never thought about it the contemplation is missing what are the consequences of finding out that i am emptiness with possibilities that was not thought about those questions were not asked and the mind simply jumped into some other desire okay i got the knowledge now next this is the condition of many seekers if you could simply contemplate meditate on the implications of the knowledge the thing will be left there is nothing to do after this this is final so we'll conclude today's meeting here thank you everybody for um, attending today's meeting i'll see you next time